Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 36 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Today, well, last time we just got our goddess rank up and that means it's time for the next story cutscene. So, another earthquake. So, the volcano's still erupting. And fierce. Fia's still worried about the people in that town. But Rishu and Seri actually ru runs the place pretty well, so... And she's responsible. So they aren't going to have any immediate hardship. Although, there's no way you can have a perfect plan against a natural disaster like that. But then, even these guys at the castle could get the castle harmed pretty easily if they tried to approach with it. So what do we do? Navarro says first that we have responsibilities. It's not just her and him in the castle anymore. There are a lot of people living here. So the first priority is protecting them. Still, Fia doesn't want to abandon those guys up in Raoroso. It is, after all, highly likely that Raul Rosso is going to be in big trouble if we keep waiting like this. So probably before the worst comes to pass, we should do something. Yeah. As expected, we won't be able to just turn a blind eye to this. All right then. <laughs> Avaro says that of his own accord, but he probably wouldn't have said this before meeting Fia and having, you know, all these good experiences connected with the castle and helping people out and shit. Okay, so in order to not put the castle in danger, it won't be the castle going forward, but just us guys. So we get to head over to Doshore Peak where Risho and Seri and the Rao Rosso soldiers headed. Yeah, we're worried about her too. And furthermore, if we can get on her good side, that means she may not actually try and take the castle again. Okay, so she agrees with that, but there has been something bugging her. All right, go ahead. So, I've already decided to go to Raoroso. Well, this time, as opposed to the last time when he didn't decide it. So, it's his decision. Because he wants to meet Risha and Sally again in a sexual manner. How the hell did you come to that conclusion? Yeah, well, you see, Risha and Sally has a really nice body. One of those dynamite bodies. Really impressive. And she is thinking that Avaro might like that kind of body rather than. You know, skinny bitches like Fia here. Well, Avar can't deny that her body certainly has a charm to it. 
she decides she's like, that's not the whole thing, idiot. So, Avaro doesn't fall in love with people just because they have a nice body. Well, she has a good point here. That it's not impossible that he would have that decision. After all, people's feelings change, their preferences change. They get together and they break up. Well, even if Aro realizes this is pretty feet on the ground for Fia. All right. Of course, it's here that feels rubbing off on him. So, just because she has a nice body, he isn't going to choose her. <laughs> I really don't see how that came from her, but she's happy to hear it anyway. All right, let's go. And let's not waste any more time. We might not be able to waste any more time. So now we can head to Rao Rosso, Doshua Peak. So, as expected, it's a volcano, so we can expect a bunch of fire enemies. We better prepare for that. Obviously, right? Okay, so, we pulled the castle's foot out of a big old hole, and we ranked Fia's goddess rank up twice. And we're still going there on foot. Why? Well, whatever. Oh. Temporary buff items. Well, I'll get the MEGA POWER! And then I'll just leave it. I don't like temporary buff items. In fact, if I could get away without even using potions, I would probably do it. Aw, oh, man. I'm out of stone again. Oh. I feel like when I'm under 20 potions, I'm getting low on them. Ah, uh, the necessity is a of playing games and always having way too much crap. Hmm. Yes. Damn, I collect a lot of lumber. Yes. Oops. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I need to build here. Oh, buildings. Did I... Oh yes, I can make another... Yes, yes. Fruit tree. Okay, so... We built a hot spring. Well, this is pretty big work, but... We've got a castle bathhouse. So we can lay it down. But Avaro wants to be the first to try it out. He's looking forward to it. Hmm. Well, there's an event if we go to and build the bathhouse, so let's see it. So, as expected, Havara was going to try it out first. Yeah, so... Yeah, Havara's going to try it out, but guess who's going to barge in on him? You do realize he's naked? No, they don't. Oh, 
したら危ないです転んじゃいますよそう Mikayu here says that she's not really good at hot stuff, but in any case, Fia starts running around like an idiot. And Mikayu warns her off that she's gonna trip and fall. Okay, Battles are still Eel's natural enemy. So. These guys apparently missed the sign that said that there are men bathing in here. And they just came on in. So they apparently haven't even noticed Avaro. Mikio is trying to entice Eol into trying a bath. So, she's willing to touch the baths, but she won't submerge. Absolutely not. She understands the feelings of the vegetables that she boils. Well, she won't be boiled in this stuff. It's Avaro's work, so it's probably the perfect temperature. Eh, that's nice to say of her. Alright, let's go in. Everybody get naked. She'll go first. Okay, they agree too. Eol actually isn't interested. More because it's a bath. Well, this is quite the scene, isn't it? Well, if you want to take a bath, of course you get naked. But... Alright, Fia says she's going to jump in. And Avaro can't stand it anymore. And he tells her not to just go jumping in like that. <laughs> oh, now they notice him. And they notice he's naked. Of course he's naked, he's taking a bath. So, in any way, Fia needs to stop playing around. So, yes, Avaro's right, and all, but he needs to not take the stance he's got because his parts are exposed. And the stance here is Neo Dachi. That's standing with your feet spread a little over shoulder width apart. Uh, usually it's with the arms crossed, but the more important part is the legs here. Alright, Captain. Are you going to quit being an engineer or are you going to quit being a pervert? Come on, he's the one who was in here first. Well, one way or the other, she doesn't mind. But if Avaro wants to go bathing with her, she's good with it. Well, if we do that, Mikayu will probably freak out. So, forgive her that. Yeah. Look, Avaro here is trying to relax, so all of you get the hell out. So, with some noise and hubbub, he chases them out. Jeez, he's gonna have to make that min bathing sign larger. And he sighs, and that's that. Jeez, taking care of these women folk is a pain in the ass sometimes.
建物の配置を変更しよう Okay, we're done with that for now Now Fruit trees This one gives the blue ones which heal life Which again, I'm kind of short on I also use a lot of the spell Spell point Potions But that doesn't bother me as much Spell points you can get back a lot easier So that's the scenes for today. And we've got this free map we never got to visit yet. And is this the first free map where nobody has anything to say about it? In any case, here we are and it's going to be simple and quick. Yes, exactly. I don't think I've always ever going to get up to level. Shutsugeki! Oh no, I forgot to use all those monsters I collected last time. All those giants, and they're useful too. Yield is really useful in this map. And besides that... A couple of them. Gotta hate that. Kodo Kaisha. What at Yoko? Now, Eel is resistant to lightning, which is why we're having her take on the Sylphies. Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. I can't attack it. But, these are Ruto Harpia, and they only have range attacks too, so neither of us do anything. You don't get to see this often. Nothing happens. But she does get experience. Oh yeah, go ahead, try and hurt you. I don't like this design for the Sylphie. I like the way they had it in Model Kokaku. Hmm. Actually, a pretty bad level up. Okay. Yeah, let's start with the big hit. Oh crap, it doesn't even matter. Because it retreats back to that feather. So... Let's hammer him with you, cutting, and probably feel we'll be able to finish it off. Upon which point the next one takes up the... Ah, uh, what a hassle. No, she probably won't finish it off. Nope. She has some abilities that can really boost her out damage output, but... If they don't out activate, well, she doesn't do the damage. Great, gargoyles. It doesn't matter, he'll be healing at the end of it anyway. Alright, you pull back. You'll capture this Sylphie. Oh, sure, take your time. 
No rush. Now, Ronin does have a ranged attack that does a little bit of damage. But the Ruto Harpy will have nothing that is not Lightning Elemental, and she absorbs it, so they aren't going to fight back. Although she can't do much damage to them. Hmm. No, save your spell points, Kabi. Oops. Okay, time to start hitting for real again. Oh, I should show you how these guys look in the battle screen, shouldn't I? You know, since I didn't take care of those giants I have in my inventory, I won't be able to capture everything on this map. I think I'll leave behind one of the gargoyles. Ah! So close. Yeah, let's get this one with Fia. Then I can send Karin south. Hmm. Oh, a little bit of paralysis on Eel. Hmm. He might actually capture this guy. Well, there we go. But no more captures for her. Him. Well, for the gargoyles in any case. Ha <laughs> That's just hilarious. Hmm. Yeah, just beat them up. Don't need to capture them. Hmm. Oh, Conan's starting to feel hurt. Still, he's got enough life to survive this. Now the deal's taking care of the Sylphie up north. He's going to help Ronrin out over there because Ronrin can't do any significant damage. Ah, where was I? Oh, it's a gargoyle? Kill it. Gonna keep hitting Karin, huh? Well. Yeah, counting's good for this level. 
行動開始だ Because now Fia gets to capture this thing And Conan can Well I guess Conan should be Warning around her himself We've got a bit of mining to do All right, fine, Karin. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, you didn't. New priority, I am messing you up. Let's see. They actually have a little bit of physical resistance. Not much, but a little. Hmm, this won't be as easy as I thought. Funny. Oh, it's a physical attack. That magic attack the other one used was actually kind of dangerous to heal, but if it's just a bow attack, she's fine. Now, most of the time I'll be using the regular attack, except when it's time to come to capture, because the capture attack is 10% less accurate. Oh crap. I believe this may actually inflict a status effect as well. Well, it's not a dangerous status effect at least. All right, Rudy, to help you. Haha. <laughs> oh, these three small potions, these three healing potions, must have been what she picked up, and the feathers are what she drops. Congratulations, Ranrin. You've been doing this for like 12 turns and you are finally getting one enemy defeated. You know, I just remembered. In my trial run yesterday, I got a really good item off of those giants I was beating up. It was a fist type weapon, and earth elemental. And since anybody can equip a fist type weapon, that means that anybody could use earth elemental attacks. Which would be useful when fighting, say, ice elementals. Ah, uh, if only I had time to just grind those kinds of things until I got what I wanted out of them. Oh, 
行動開始だ。アヴァロ、I think is done。ああ、no。he's got one more mining to do。and he's a lot closer than Karen is because Karen had to come get this one。Thanks, Ronan. You've been a pal. Well, and by pal, I mean bitch. Hmm? hmm? Indeed. Oh, there's this whole room I haven't even opened yet. I guess there isn't anything interesting in there. Well, goodies. Water beast skin. What's that doing here in a cave inside of the castle? Ah, the world will never know. Fire beast skins. All right, he'll stop giving us that look. You can go back and heal now. That makes everything so we're out of here. You know, I was wondering if sometimes you would have a character who wasn't actually deployed say something at the end of the stage. That was kissing here. And this is interesting. We got a lot of good stone, which is useful. And a bunch of green magic ore. So stocking up on things. Mm. Oh, excellent. Now good stone, like we got, is useful in building good buildings. Good houses rather. Oh, this, that, and the other thing. I could still use more good stone, though. I could build another one of these. You know, when you have a good house, you should replace the regular houses with good houses. Unless you get space for more. I think it just dumped a bunch of green grass on me, which lets me make more of these status effect healing items. Have you seen me use those? Yeah, they're not very useful. Yes. Alright, we'll call that good. Ah. Since I made that expansion to the castle grounds again, I can now make the next expansion of the castle grounds. Hmm, anything, anything. Oh. A busted research book. A busted hammer. I think I got that in this last stage. Somehow. Now that we have the improved green ring, I'm going to sacrifice the old and busted green ring. Just keep getting more of these random things occasionally. Now, improved green ring. One of these days I'll consider doing more of this. Why did I make... Well, obviously I thought it was a good idea at the time. Oh, that's right, I upgraded this so Avaro could wear it in the battle and actually make a difference under leveled as he is but it can wait maybe we'll just settle for Avaro being under a level for the rest of the game I should make another one of these so I can upgrade it and clear it off of my list Ah, you know how it is. 
I am going to save my light and darkness shards, though. I don't know for what yet, but I'm going to save them. Oh, fine. Yes? This is one of the most useless accessories, and I swear I'm never going to use it, but yes. it's there. I have to upgrade it. All right, so expansion of the castle grounds. We're continuing to make more space and all that good stuff. Wait a minute. The description said I'd only get four spaces. That's more than four. That's even eight spaces. Now... Green. And there's something else that forms that... What was it, a shop? Let me say... Yep. That's a second formation of that type. Blue. Now... I'm going to lay down. Yeah, that's it for formations I can make at the moment, so I'm going to lay down. Stuff that'll give me goods every three turns. This provides dirt, clay, wood. Over here we have the one that's been giving me stone. Oh yes, let's... Huh. My inventory doesn't show me my inventory of buildings. Let's review real quick. I have a good yellow house, so I can replace something with that type. Yeah, those things are pretty useless. So, let's tear out one of these and put in a good yellow house. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Giants! It takes five of these guys to make an upgrade for each of these three. Which means it was a good thing I captured 17 of the bastards. Karin got like a plus five for the five giants and... Ranin gets th plus three attack. Let's see what Ruin gets. Plus eight? That's just crazy. Now he has 30 attack. I'm gonna compare that with my other characters. Who? It's almost a shame to waste. Such valuable characters on Ramin. But I can't stand it being available and not taking it. Well, speaking of wastes... Alright. This is boosting his... Various resistances. Now he's got a bit of physical resistance. Fire, lightning. So, Rudin got this insane plus eight to his attack. Let's see how he stacks up. Okay, here's the news. Rudin is now my highest physical attacker with 30. A couple of my level 20 characters have 28. Hmm. All of his attacks should be physical. Well, physical attacks are obviously physical, but all of his attacks, I believe, are... No, he has a physical type physical attack and a 
ranged water type physical attack. Uh, he will mess up anything that's made of fire. Speaking of which, aren't we going to a volcano soon? But that will have to wait till tomorrow. I'd like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time YouTube.